All right, folks, so I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible, but what I wanna do is just do some tests, uh, kind of run through these real quick, but what we have is the bog, and you can, man, I'll tell you, when you see the bog legs, and you feel the bog compared to those, I mean, it's just, there's, there's no contest. Uh, but the first test that we're gonna do, I'm just gonna adjust it to the target and then let it sit there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get on target. And one thing, no matter how much I crank this bog down, and by the way, I'll make sure that I'm putting the attachment point in approximately the same place to be you know, as fair as possible. All right, so. I'm gonna to try to get on that target. And one thing I have to do is definitely crank this down below it because it does go up quite a bit. All right, so now I'm completely off of it and it's just sitting there. And folks, right now, I'm still wiggling around. Right now, there's probably maybe a one to two mile an hour wind. And now we're about three. So that is the bog just sitting still. Nothing going on with it, nothing touching it, anything like that. All right, so that's the bog. All right, so now what we're gonna do is take this thing off and I will place it in the invert 60. We'll see what kind of stability we get just sitting there like that. And honestly, as simple as this test is, this might be the most definitive test out of all these. Put this in about the same spot. Make sure my legs are fully extended. All right, so now I'm gonna just go ahead and put this on the target here. And folks, that's what I love about this look. I can. Crank down that right here. All right, so we have, again, about the same one, two, three mile an hour winds. Picking up a little bit. That target is at 100 yards, by the way, folks. Same conditions, actually, we're having like a steady three mile an hour wind right now compared to about a one to three that we were getting. Now it's down to about one almost nothing as far as wind right now, there's that. All right, so that's our invert 60, just sitting still. Now let's go over to the levitate. All right, locking it down in the exact same spot. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on target, lock that in, let it go, let it sit there. Let it settle down. All right, so again, same wind conditions. We got a one to three. Right now it's probably about a one up, uh, coming at me now two, about two miles an hour. Coming up to about a three. All right, folks, so that was all three of those and I'll probably put up a little thing of all three of them together. So to illustrate that point a little bit better. All right, so what I wanna do next is we will illustrate panning. Um, and we will start with that bog first, panning left to right. Make sure the legs are fully extended. All right, so I'm gonna get my gun level. I'm going to put some tension on this thing. Trying to hold it as steady as possible. Folks, as I pan, it definitely wants to topple over. We got a real small head. So as I pan left and right, it is, it just, it just feels like it's about to always go left and right. So as I move over, A little slower. With a three. And again, looking at a target at 300 yards, I'm gonna crank this down as tight as possible. Folks, and that is definitely one thing, you're always, it always feels like you're fighting this thing to get on target. And no matter where you tighten it, it's coming way off target. And again, for recreational hunting, things like that, this thing is a good value. There's no doubt about it, all right? But it is what it is. All right, so now we're gonna go to the invert 60. 
Again, making sure that it is in the exact same spot. Tighten that down. Folks, you can keep that gun on target so much. I mean, I don't know how it's illustrating through here, but I mean, it's not even close. And this is without it even tightened down. And again, as I pan, I'm keeping a little tension on there so that we dampen those effects. And then even as I'm talking, it's still staying stable. Here, I'll quit talking. Because of where I have this gun adjusted, there's definitely some sag. But, you know, essentially, if I tighten it on target, it's staying on target within that target frame, right? So, I mean, again, the, the, the difference is night and day. And again, I don't know how, I don't know how it's coming through on the video, but, uh, you know, it's definitely a big difference in the real world. All right, so now let's grab, let's do the exact same thing with the levitate. I definitely like these throw levers much better. We'll put that in the exact same spot. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on target and pan back and forth a couple times. Folks, how smooth that is, is night, again, night and day. Even, it's definitely an improvement over that. So there again, I think for, you know, 90% of what you'd ever do with shooting, this is a better option. And one thing I thought about earlier, we talked about the disadvantage of this, um, basically not having as much extreme elevation, right? We got 15 degrees down, 15 degrees up. You could get another about five degrees or so just by adjusting the legs if you needed to do that. So still a good option. If you really needed to shoot way downhill at a declination or an inclination, but just by adjusting the legs, you could probably get another about five to 10 degrees of elevation out of this thing. So that is a consideration as well. One thing I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention earlier as far as disadvantages or at least differences. The Levitate is probably, I don't know, 30 or 40% lighter than the inverted 60 over here. Um, and that also, it also helps the fact that you, you, you're not attaching the actual apex plate uh, when you're using this as well. So keep that in mind. So. You know, that does decrease that. Now, what I was talking about as well earlier is if you do need ballast because you are losing that ballast hook is you can add something like this. All right, folks, I don't know how demonstrative that was. I haven't taken a look at the footage yet. Uh, hopefully you got something out of it. I figured it'd be better off to try to show something. I'm sure if I sat down and really thought about some really hardcore stability tests, I, I just don't know what else to do than that. But anyways, I hope you found that helpful. I hope you found it informative. Make sure you like, subscribe, throw a comment down below. If you have some suggestions of how I could better test overall stability, uh, you know, put them down in the, in the uh, comments. I'll definitely take that. Make sure you're joining us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And remember, we're giving one of these away, not the gun, all right, the tripod uh, and the levitate. So you can pick your choice of uh, tripod or levitate. As soon as we hit 10,000 views on this video, uh, we're gonna have Connor and Casey from Fat Boy on our live stream, and we're gonna give one of these away for free. Again, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, comment down below if you're already subscribed, you're already covered. You can also go do the same thing over on Rumble. That'll also get you an additional uh, entry. And then if you're posting this video and tagging us on Facebook and Twitter, we will give you an additional entry. I'll, I'll just say once a week, do it once a week. And even if you don't end up winning one of these, we are a fat boy dealer. We'd appreciate the business. I'm telling you right now, again, I don't know, I don't know how well this, this, this video showed it, but I can tell you right now, these are the best tripods that I've ever used. I don't care if you're talking, well, I won't name the, the brands, but I've tried them all. And I'm telling you folks, far and away, these are the best hunting, shooting, and competition tripods you can get your hands on. But hopefully that was helpful. And you know, while guns and gear is great, what we're really about is training. So make sure you go to ParamountTactical.com. Go check out our upcoming training schedule. We'd love to have you out. We'd love to meet you in person. And even if you don't win one of these, you can order one of these directly through us. Links down below or just go to Paramount Tactical. But until next time, stay armed, stay ready. We'll talk to you soon.